uh, continuing on this week where I left off last week and uh, this time I will get the dash painted. Alright guys, so before I can start doing anything, I've really got to tidy up and this fuel tank is in the way and the best place to store it is to just at least sit it back in the car. So uh, that's the first thing. Alright, that all sits in there nicely and um, the best way to sort that um, wiring mess out for now is to sort it. Alright, so... Uh, Painting the dash, the first thing I need to do is uh, give it a bit of a clean up and then go through and scuff the whole thing with some 800 grit so it's uh, ready to take some paint. All right, so I was tinkering away over the other side of the car and I found that uh, this little dash piece was still fitted and I realized now why I never took it off before. It's because it was sort of glued on with caked on crap and uh, now it's uh, falling apart. Uh, just more, more work I have to do later. I haven't worked out exactly what I'm gonna do with this center section of the dash yet. I'm gonna have to start getting it all back together and when it's coming back to life, that's when I'll uh, actually make a final decision. All right, she's right back. Now it's uh, more masking and get her ready to paint. here masking up all the interior um, the indicator stalk I didn't actually remove because there was lots of wiring and it was easy to leave it in there um, but um, as you can see all the paint has worn off of it but the actual uh, sticker on it is quite good so I'm going to mask that up and then repaint the entire stalk black again and it should look a million bucks masked up it's a, probably a little bit of overkill because um, I'm only dusting on a light bit of black but uh, better than having overspray even though I'm going to be cutting and buffing the whole car just may as well uh, so now I just need to clean it up and uh, give it a nice coat of black all right now it's time to unmask and see how much overspray we've got over everything oh and as per usual I'm covered in paint again. The dash is painted, but I've got crap everywhere again. I just seem to just create a mess and it's two steps forward, one step backwards and I have to go through and clean all this garbage up again. I've got stuff everywhere. You yeah, have a look around. Rubbish on the floor. Engine parts under plastic, the tiny little bit of the bench I've got that I've been using is overflowing with junk and stuff. Look at this mess. Before I go any further, I've got to sort it all out. All right, so my next job is to play with this wheel. So you might have seen that I actually only have three wheels on my car. Um, I had some issues with this rim. Basically, I bought them third hand. The guy who sold to me had no idea. Um, but basically, the center of this wheel was actually welded in offset slightly. So uh, when I went to balance it, all the other wheels were perfect. They balanced beautifully and they're all, all nice. This one was wobbling and the only way to fix it was to actually cut the entire center out of the rim and then re-world it in square. So um, that's all been done now, but the heat has actually wrecked and lifted the paint. And there's, um, yeah, the paint's lifted everywhere. So the, uh, the only thing to do is to paint strip it and um, start again.
so I'm all, all finished up with um, stripping the paint off the wheel. There's a little bit left on there. I'm not too concerned. It's pretty flat and uh, I'm gonna reprime it and everything anyway. I had to be really careful using the wire wheel on the drill because this alloy of these centers is very soft. So I had it turned down really low and I was just sort of scraping the paint off. Uh, yeah, otherwise it would gouge this alloy yeah, quite uh, heavily. So being very careful with that, I've got it all stripped back. So now it's time to mask it up and um, repaint it. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing twice. Yeah. Primer is all done. I'm reasonably happy with the uh, quality of the finish on there. Could I chop it back and uh, get it perfect? Absolutely. Uh, is it good enough and going to match the other wheels? Absolutely, so uh, let's hit some silver on it. Hey guys, after lots of requests, I thought uh, maybe we'd do something a little bit different in the uh, episodes to come. Um, and I thought we'd do fun facts with Mrs. Jeff. Hi guys, um, just before I begin, I do have man flu, so I'm obviously quite ill, so apologies for the croaky voice and all of you guys will understand how terrible the suffering is with man flu. Anyway, interesting fact. Did you know that the first hybrid electric car was not actually a Toyota Prius? It was built by Ferdinand Porsche, the founder of the company, and he built, the, built that sorry, back in 1899, and it was the loner Porsche Semper Vivus. It was an electric car, had an internal combustion engine, which was used as a generator. It was also the first car with brakes on all four wheels. All right, guys, that's it for another week. The dash is painted, the wheel is started. Uh, I don't know what I'm up to next week. We'll just have to uh, tune in to see. Let me know what you thought of Fun Facts with Mrs. Jeff and um, we'll see you next week. <laughs> see you guys.